And this is why we can't have nice things. People have been exploiting things in games as long as I've been playing them. And I can't pretend that at some point in my past, I haven't taken advantage of a system or two as well. I think for a time I thought it was all just harmless fun, but eventually I learned the fact that it's not just harmless fun and your actions do have an impact, not only on yourself, but on potentially the entire community of the game that you play. And that is what we are seeing now in Overwatch. If you weren't privy to this, since the custom games came out in the new server browser, there was this ongoing trend of people doing these AFK games. They would come into these matches, sit AFK, and then accumulate a boatload of experience for doing absolutely nothing. So people would join these matches when they were at school, when they were at work, when they were doing stuff around the house, or even at night when they were sleeping to get a ton of experience, which of course translates into a ton of free loot boxes. Well, as you can imagine, for a variety of reasons, Blizzard doesn't want you getting a ton of free loot boxes, but more importantly, they don't want you exploiting their systems. And because of this behavior, the rest of the community has now been punished. So Jeff Kaplan came out to talk about this a couple of days ago. He, he wrote a very long, lengthy response, but I'm just going to take a few excerpts from it. So first he said, it's very disappointing to us that players abuse the system to gain experience while inactive. As some of you have noticed, skirmish in custom games no longer rewards experience. Also, the AFK timer is now in place in skirmish mode in custom games only. I've seen some discussion in the community and in the press on this topic, and sometimes it gets talked about as if it's a gray area. Is this wrong or is this okay? Well, let me take a gray area and make it starkly black and white for you. Abusing and exploiting custom game or any other game mode to earn experience in Overwatch while inactive is not okay. The the reason I want to be absolutely clear about this is because we are going to start to take disciplinary action against people who partake in these activities. If you create a custom game that in any way encourages players to gain experience while inactive, you risk having your account banned. So a couple things of note here. First and foremost, they basically have taken away our ability to gain experience while playing in skirmish mode in custom games. So this is where the actions of some people exploiting a system are now impacting the rest of us. If I wanted to, if I had this awesome idea for a custom game skirmish mode, now people are, aren't going to be as incentivized to play it, even if it's like a really fun game mode because of the other game modes rewarding experience and as such rewarding loot boxes. So we are being punished because some people were exploiting the system. I don't blame Blizzard for doing this. I mean, this is clearly behavior that they want to stop and they need to do something to stop it. So whether that's, you know, they couldn't, they could just put an AFK time but if they just put an AFK timer and didn't take away the experience gain reward, people are just going to use, you know, programs to move their character every couple of seconds so that they don't get booted. So I get why they're doing this. And it, it goes back to the saying, this is why we can't have nice things because of the shitty actions of a few people. And some people may think it's extreme to do something like taking away the experience gain for the rest of the community or instigating a AFK timer or even banning people. But I don't think it's ridiculous. And I, I do, I guess I'd like to also take a hard stance on this, similar to what Blizzard is doing. People know that what they're doing is wrong. There is no way that anyone out there, a reasonable person thinks, oh yeah, Blizzard wanted me to sit here, AFK, have the game running for 12 straight hours, not playing, and getting a ton of loot boxes as a result because I was gaining experience while not playing the game. That was obviously never Blizzard's intentions. So people going in and taking advantage of that system are clearly taking advantage of it. They're ex exploiting it beyond what's intended. Now, the idea that you're just gonna get banned right away without a warning, I of course don't agree with, but I don't believe that's what Blizzard's doing. I've seen reports that they're sending out warnings, they're doing uh, temporary suspensions, if you will, or they're at least giving some sort of a heads up before they're outright banning accounts. Through this post and through, I guess, videos like this raising awareness, now, now people should know and the word should spread amongst the community. If you keep up this type of behavior, it is going to result in a ban. I just really wanted to talk about this because it's it's frustrating to me that now we don't get experience in skirmish mode in custom games. That's a frustrating thing because rewarding experience for custom games was a way for Blizzard to try to say, you know what, we know this stuff's a lot of fun, but some people won't want to play it because they really like getting XP and getting loot boxes. Well, here you guys go. We're going to reward experience in our new custom game and server browser that just came through in the last big patch so that people are interested in doing this even more. There's even more 
incentive beyond the fun and interesting game modes. And some people want that little extra incentive, or they don't want to feel like they're missing out when they could be playing competitive or quick play and gaining experience. They don't want to feel like they're, quote, wasting time in a mode that doesn't offer it. But because some people exploited, now we're not getting that, at least in part of the custom games, specifically the skirmish mode. Custom games aren't rewarding XP. It's just frustrating to me, that's all. You know, we'll see. Blizzard may eventually come around and decide to toss it back in. I hope they do. If they have other measures to combat this idea of AFK people um, staying in lobbies to get a ton of experience. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. I just wanted to give some of my thoughts on this, guys. I'd love to know what you guys think. How do you feel about people exploiting this to get loot boxes? How do you feel about Blizzard's response? Uh, I'd love to know uh, and hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.